Did you know that sedimentary rocks are formed through a process that takes millions of years? Last lesson, we learn about push and pull forces. In this video, we will be learning how sedimentary rocks are formed. Sedimentary rocks are formed through the process of weathering, erosion, deposition, compaction, and cementation. Weathering is the process of rocks being broken down into smaller rocks by growing plants, gravity, heat, wind, water, ice, acid, oxygen, and living organisms. Erosion is the movement or transportation of sediments from one place to another. Sediments can be transported to new location by moving water, wind, and ice. Deposition is when these sediments are dropped off into a new place. Gravity pulls the floating particles of other rocks, minerals, or once living organisms towards the floor and settles them there. Compaction is a process that takes place over millions of years by which sediments are compressed or squeezed together by the weight of added layers above. The particles are pressed together so tightly that it squeezes out air and liquids until the layer becomes solid. Cementation is the bonding or sticking together of these sediments and the formation of new rocks. When a body of water dries up or if the earth's place shift, it can expose the sedimentary rock below the surface. Weathering and erosion can further expose and break up sedimentary rock layers and can even reveal hidden fossils. Let's review what we learned. Sedimentary rocks are formed through the process of weathering, rocks being broken down, erosion, the movement and transportation of these rocks, deposition, the dropping off of sediments, compaction, the squeezing and pressure added, cementation, the bonding or gluing together of sediments that form new rocks.